Hey fellow golfers, um, down here at the Duke Meadows driving range to do a clip for you on a critical component of the mental aspect of the game that also has a key impact on your shot making and that's to do with the shot routine which has three parts to it the pre-shot routine, the actual shot and post-shot. I will cover some critical components to help you realize that it is one of the most important tools and mental aspects to get right. There isn't one type of shot routine. You have to identify all the components that work best for you and then once you've got it right, stick to it. Trust your routine. As Harold Varner III, a great young golfer today, has said, you don't really have any control at the end of the day where you're on your golf shot or where your ball ends up, but you have control on how you approach the shot and hence the importance of the routine. Davis Love Jr. also said a routine is not a routine if you have to think about it. So once you've got it down pat, it should be second nature and it applies equally to the driver, woods, from the rough, short game and especially equally putting. I will cover in more depth something to do with quiet eye and putting the next time. So do subscribe, give me a like if you like what you see and let's get on with the shot routine. Another useful thing to think about is think about dividing the pieces into three little boxes. If you like, this is your decision line. I'll put my club down there. And what you do is your first is your think box. So you're thinking about the shot. You're thinking about where you want the ball to go whether you're drawing it, fading it, pick out a target, a small target, a branch on a tree, a flag out in the distance. I'll show you that when I've got a, I hit a couple of shots and you'll see the targets there. And so this is your time to analyze what it is you want to do. Imagine your stroke. So you are focused on your target, your target line. If you're picking out a point, a couple of feet in front of you in line with the target of where you want to hit the ball, look at that. So this is your thinking time. The second piece then is your play time. So your play time is when you actually then go and hit the shot. And then after that you've hit the shot, it's your memory time. So it's your memory box. So it's your think box, your play box, and then your memory box. So after you've hit it, if you've hit it well, remember that shot, remember the feeling. If you haven't, spend a couple of seconds as you walk off, just perhaps recalibrating what you may or may not have done right. Forget it. Focus on the next shot. Focus on the challenge if you've hit it into the rough. Don't worry about it. Golf is unpredictable. But if you split up your shot routine into those three pieces, I think it will help. Remember, posture, good posture, good tempo, slow takeaway. So even in that practice, I always recommend practice with both feet together because it stops you from rushing and gets you that nice feel. No difference for putting, but you'd be focusing on the pace and the line of the putt. It's very important and that's your setup. And there's a few fundamentals you need to get right in your setup. The first is the face of your club is pointing to the target. Have your face pointing to the target. Then make sure that you've got a reasonable, 
ideally a neutral grip so check your grip your grip position if it's a couple of inches further down to strike it well check your alignment but it's an issue I always have because I tend to stand open and then of course I tend to pull it because that's where I'm standing so check your alignment to the target so in my case what I tend to do is I even start a little closed because actually that makes me more aligned so check your alignment check your smooth takeaway check your head position your eye on the ball your weight equally if it's an iron shot if it's a driver as you know you're going to come up on the ball so check your weight position check your feet position so the alignment is the feet the knees the hips and the shoulders to the target line always helps to flare the feet out even pull your back foot back a couple of inches for that baby draw so that's what I tend to do and it of course ensures that I hit an in to our shallow path to turn more in your practice so that you are giving the full shoulder turn so that's set up your grip your posture your rhythm the feel your feet position your alignment your weight balance on your feet is critical in yourself then stay focused stay focused on everything you've done so you've thought about your shot you're focused on your target line you've got your setup stay focused and then trust your swing and execute trust your swing and execute I will have a clip going on up above me hitting a few shots in closing it's worth saying use your routine when you need it most when things are not going well with her shank We've hit it in the rough. Even more important not to panic. That's when you go back into your routine and say, just trust your routine and say, verify all the elements, take it easy, swing more easily, and as you hit the next good shot, you'll relax again. So trust your routine. But establishing that routine, that pre-shot routine, that shot routine which is your setup in particular and then the execution of the shot and the post shot routine as you walk off your think box, your play box, your memory box try it, you won't regret it once you get that down pat you'll find the game a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable see you on the flip side